Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakodash. I want to give double honor unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone and say peace, mercy, and blessing to the whole full light. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. Okay? And we are the Hebrew Israelites. There's 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latin Hispanics. We make up the lost 12 tribes. The self-proclaimed white man is not white, they're red. They are the Adumians, the Edomites, according to the Word of the Bible, right? This video here is from Riverside, Homestead Life, right? And it says, Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, huge food warning. Okay, so um, there's tons of information coming out on the internet on how know that the food is, is fake you know it's uh it could be 3d printed you know it's, it's just not the same anymore man you know and pretty much all of the food that's, that's in america a lot of it is banned outside of this country man all right and, and americans are obese they have all type of health issues okay because this, this is the valley of the shadow of death so i'm gonna play, play this video and bring out a few precepts not seeming right lately so my mother was showing me that she opened the banana that she thinks that these are not real bananas. We got it from the supermarket, but when she opens it and she breaks it in half, it gets very tough and doesn't really break. And if, when it pulls, it's like it's glue. It's very tight and doughy. Think about it. When you close your eyes and you, maybe the texture is off, but the taste is on point. Something's not right. And we're gonna go over some of that stuff. So you guys are a little bit better aware on the differences of what you're really eating these days. All this craziness is bringing people to the conclusion of wanting stricter food guidelines, more transparency on what we're actually eating. Have you guys gotten to the point where you don't necessarily trust the food suppliers these days? The watermelon, the fake watermelon, the rubber watermelon is flying all over the place. I've had several people send me stuff and say, hey, let people know something ain't right. So I got sent this and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Internet is saying stores are selling fake fruits. You've got to be joking. So I got sent that, right? And I'm like, wait, okay, I know that Joe Rogan and Elon Musk has talked about a lot of debatable things. But when it came to the fruits and the, the fake watermelon, the fake avocado, the fake bananas from Costco, was this video from Joe Rogan and Elon Musk actually real? So I analyzed it and I actually think that it's AI created. I played it over and over, put it into my system. I'm almost 100% sure that that is AI recorded voice. But not to say what they're talking about isn't real because it's in fact very real. I already know Joe Rogan touches on a lot of things and I think that he's homies with Elon Musk. But what I think as the facts that they're stating is in fact definitely credible for sure. Yeah, so shoppers have reported finding watermelons with skins that peel off like stickers and don't break easily, resembling rubber. And it's true. I have had numerous folk send me the video of the gal with the watermelon. Let's watch it real quick because I've got a couple other clips that I want to show you where they're peeling off fake skin off of watermelon. They're bending bananas in half that don't break. It's stuff that you guys are eating and it's probably in your fridge and you probably need to be paying a lot more attention. So I cut watermelon for my kids and they're all bringing it right back saying they don't like the texture. And I've seen enough videos of people posting rubber. You know, and, uh, me personally, I don't trust the produce from Walmart. You know, I went and got some produce from Walmart about two, three weeks ago. And, you know, because I, I couldn't get to the other store I go to. And um, I got some uh, oranges and bananas, and I went to go eat this shit, and I just threw it away because it's just, it's just nasty, okay? doesn't taste good. The texture is off, all right? There's something seriously wrong <laughs> with the food supply here in America, man, all right? And it's because we're dealing with a mad scientist, okay? This is the book of Job, chapter 13 and verse 5. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. And that's Esau. He's a forger of lies. He's a physician of no value. And under his rulership, okay, all the foundations are out of the course, man. I believe that's Psalms 83. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get it though. 
Okay, Psalms 82 and 5, right? This is Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither do they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. So under Esau's rulership, the mad scientist, the physician of no value, all the foundations are out of course. Okay? Because when Yahweh by Shemel Shai, when Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint, along with the elect to create everything, and they saw that it was good, most High created the uh, fruit bearing seed, man. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 29. All right. I just read verbatim. And the Most High said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat. A lot of the things you, you buy, it's not, it's unseeded. You know, you have to, you actually have to look high and low for seeded watermelon because. You never find any seeded watermelon in the fucking stores. Okay, the, the grapes aren't seeded. All right, the, you can barely find seeded apples. The apples are something. Uh -huh. I got some apples. You know, I didn't get a chance to use. But, you know, they've been sitting. I noticed they still look the same. <laughs> They're not um, going bad. None of that, man. Okay, so that's how you know something is wrong. And the same with the blueberries. You know, which they're gonna go into too. Okay, all, all of this stuff here is defiled. We're not eating real food. Okay, and this is why Yahweh by Shemel Shai has to shorten the days, man. Okay? This is why you should pray over everything. I think it's Matthew 24, maybe verse 22. It's Matthew 24, verse... 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect sake the elect all right um the 144,000 of one third all right the israelites who are it's their lot to be delivered the first fruits okay and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved so the most i don't shorten the days there ain't gonna be no flesh to be saved because if you if you combine what we're eating with the chemtrails along with what we're drinking the hours we're working, okay, the stress, every, everything around you is to stress you, okay, the, the pestilences, the health diseases, you know, the frequencies, the vibration, it's, it's all to destroy you and to kill you, USA under Satan's authority, demonocracy, all right, the system is, is totally satanic, and it's literally destroying the souls of people, man, like it says, Revelation, souls of men, so the Lord don't cut the time down of this man's rulership, there wouldn't be nobody to be saved. We're not, we're not even eating real food anymore, man. And then on top of that, the, the food is sky high, the rent is sky high, then they got the nerve to, to want you to make three times that. You know, we, we're dealing with the fucking devil, man. Rubbery watermelon. And it's true, rubbery watermelon clips all over the place. I know most of you guys don't get on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook Reels because you know what they're doing. So I'm taking one for the team and trying to do all this research for you so you guys don't got to. I can't believe I got one. I got a rubbery watermelon. The texture is so weird. Like, you gotta bend it so far before it will break. All right, guys, she just pulled that apart bent the crap out of it, pulled it apart like it was fruit leather. I mean, I know for a fact, and tell me if I'm wrong down in the comments and tell me if I'm right, but back in the day when you sliced into a fresh watermelon, which was probably from someone's garden, that sucker would snap, pop right in your hand. The minute you start bending, boom! And then you're crunching right into it. That is definitely not what they're doing. And I'm telling you, I would put my money, I would put my money on that these guys have artistry on making things taste not only like it's supposed to taste, but they've added things that make it addictive. They've added things that make it even more flavorful. The question is, are we being full? The concern by many of you out there, 3D printers. This is why people have uh, the, the, the answer.
breaking down in your body is poison, right? This is, let's go right here. It's defiled, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4 and verse 13. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, I'm going to go down to KJB. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, where I will drive them. And that's what we're eating. You know, canned goods defiled. You know, a lot of our people, I saw one video, you got this nigga on the internet, he's just deep frying a snake, seasoning it, you know, barbecuing it, <laughs> you know, and, and don't get started on the ingredients. You know, they use ingredients from a, a, a B, O, audit, all right, Planned Parenthood fetuses, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's real sick out here, man. Okay, this, this is literally when the scripture says the valley, the shadow of death, that's exactly what it, that's exactly where we are. Okay, to Psalms 23 and verse 4. Yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is this place, man, America. Okay, you go out the country, people are eating, have maintaining the same diet, yet they're losing weight. I'll keep seeing that online. Okay, but you come over here, you know, your ass again. 10 pounds in a week you'll have issues with your colon your, your, your bowel movements this is food you're eating is destroying you okay and it's not leaving your body yet do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me that rod and thy staff comfort me and that's why we, we we pray over our food you know a quick prayer you can say is that which the true name of the heavenly father is yahweh which means he exists or he is to be the name of the son is yahweh Shah, which means he is the deliverer okay you can say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadosh, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Barak, which means bless Zah, this, Makal, Fu. Okay? So, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Barak, Zah, Makal. It's a quick, simple prayer. Prayer, quick, simple prayer in the Lashawan Kodash, or the, or the uh, Holy Tongue, or the Paleo Hebrew. Okay? The words other than Hebrew have more power, more force than them, man. Okay, and then we have to pray with our season. We have to pray with our food because we're eating poison, man. You know, the scripture says, if they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. This is Mark 16, verse 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them or, or, um, or, or eat. And then this reminds me of Paul on the island, serpent bit him okay and he didn't die right they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover this is these are the signs that's going to follow the elect <laughs> okay so we're, we're eating poison all right shit is not breaking down in our bodies we're drinking poison she has all type of fluoride atrazine all type of chemicals in it to feminize you this this devil has weaponized the planet and food and he has put everyone in the box to where they have to go and grab all these same resources man you know the job i work at the uh the lunchroom there's nothing really of no nutritional nutritional value up in there there's only maybe one to three items that you can eat you know and but <laughs> you get tired of eating the same shit you know a good diet is important man all right you eat better you feel better you, you think better Okay, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 30. And verse 14, better is the poor being sound in a strong constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. 15, health and good state of body are above all gold and strong body above infinite wealth. And you can also precept this with Sirach 38. The Most High made medicines out of the earth. He that is wise will not abhor them. That's why brothers are into the herbs. And the Most High has pretty much made us all into physicians because we have to go to the herbs, all right, and uh, use natural vitamins, minerals, you know, these things such as uh, sea moss, ashwagandha, maca, tonga dali, you know, shield your different things brothers are taking on the daily, you know, and also cycling on and off, okay? Because we're not getting the proper vitamins and minerals, nutrients that we need from the food we eat, man. 
Okay, 16. There's no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of a heart. Okay. Go down to uh, 25. It says a cheerful and good heart, which is a cheerful and good mind, will have a care of its meat and diet. So these are some evil, gluttonous motherfuckers, man. Just eating snakes and, and, and you know, pigs and I saw one video they was making, <laughs> they frying up uh, chicken ass, chicken butts, <laughs> you know, so the people are evil, man, okay, hey, the scripture says a cheerful and good heart will have a care of its meat and diet, these people don't care what they eat, they just put everything in the microwave, you know, but one of the best diets you can eat, you know, you kind of got to fast, you know, I'm looking myself into a carnivore diet. Which you, you know you should know the dietary law, you know no pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, but you can have salmon, haddock, tuna, sardines, turkey, chicken, and beef, man. Okay, that's it. And cut all the carbs out. Cut the rice out. You know the breads. Hey, make your own bread. <laughs> you know, everything out here is fucking defiled man this is the valley of the shadow of death and, when, and of course you gotta live within your means but pray over your food man because the food is terrible here you know this day we have to be delivered you know many people are questioning are they 3d printing our fruits our vegetables our meat give me one to two weeks and i'll show you how you can start your own <sighs> this is a really thick so that one was easier. What's going on with the watermelon this season? Guys, there's more. Let's see what I think AI Elon Musk says about Ari Osborne, I believe. Ari Osborne shared a video detailing her experience with what she believed were organic blueberries from Whole Foods. Now I'm gonna come back to this one real quick. I'm pausing this and I'm playing this just so you guys know. So I'm you gotta go to the uh, to the now you got to go to the farmers markets but what esau uh and double strategically doing is he's shutting these farmers down you know north and south of the court is under underwater farms over there are flooded out all right um iowa he's telling the farmers to not irrigate the crops so they're gonna um wear their way okay you got all these food and processing plants burning down so the famine is here man Okay, so with that, man, I just want to do a quick lesson. You know, you can look up this, this video, about 11 minutes. It's from Riverside Homestead, and you can see the title right there. Okay, so I pray this has been edifying and informative. You know, all praise, honor, and glory to you. Shalom to the elect.